All right, so here's guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing a no makeup makeup look. This is the look that I wear pretty much all the time when I don't really feel like wearing a full face, but I still wanna look put together. So this is what we're doing today. It's really simple. We're doing hair, makeup, accessories, all that. So let's jump into the video. See how I do all this, and I hope you guys like it. All right, all right. So we're gonna start off with my hair first. So I'm just gonna take it out of my hair turban. These are the best. Go get you. I have like four of these, and they're lifesavers. I don't even use regular towels on my hair anymore. A little tip. Um, but I'm just gonna brush my hair out first. I use a wet brush. Um, it's just a lot better. Do -do. Yeah. All right, so now that we have this all brushed out, I'm gonna put in the main product, which helps kind of stick everything together. I don't use anything else. This is what holds my hair. Also, I only do this high slick bun when my hair is wet. Um, it just, I don't know, I feel like with my curly hair, it holds better when it's wet, and it just, it lays down flatter, so that's like what I do. Um, but I'm gonna be putting in a mask in. This is the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Mask with mush, no, not mushroom. <laughs> with marshmallow root um but yeah this is my favorite mask it's super hydrating and i love it so this is like a two-in-one hairstyle like you're moisturizing deep like hydrating and also it looks cute and you look like slick back and all that so i put a lot of this in mocus mo mocusly wow english today mostly focusing it on like the ends of my hair um, because that's like typically the driest part of your hair. So I just kind of pretty much just put it all in. I really put a lot in, so. And I use the end of my brush because I have nails, so I can't get it in the jar. But this is what I do. I don't put too much by the top of my hair, just like a little bit. And I always brush it through. I think I need a little bit more underneath my hair. Don't forget underneath because you're going to see it. So you want to make sure that it's also like very filled with product. Okay. So, and <laughs> that was not bad. Um, I'm actually going to brush my hair like in half like so. Because it makes it easier when it's in two separate sections. So I'm just going to do this. So now that we have it kind of in the middle, um, I'm gonna take my like fine tooth comb and actually split it down the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's like pretty much in the middle. So again, a lot of brushing is involved in this just cause you really want it slick and you want no knots or else it's gonna be really difficult. So I'm just constantly brushing through it. So now what I'm going to take is this hair gel. This is the Proclaim Crystal Ice. It's just a clear hair gel. You can use any one that you want, but this is the one I like. Um, it doesn't make my hair stiff, which is what I like in a hair gel. So I just take a little bit of this. I don't use a lot. Like you can see it on my nails, not a lot. And I just put this on the top here. Like I said, not too much, just to kind of slick it and make sure there's going to be no flyaways as well as underneath I just kind of put it under because I do have curly hair so I have small little ringlets that come out of the bottom and even though it looks cute sometimes today's not the day for that one okay so now I'm going to take this really stiff like bristle brush I've had this for so long it's by Goody I saw one at Walmart the other day so you can still find these but this is going to be what helps you out when you're doing your hair as well as a hair tie I get the really stretchy black ones they're for like curly thick hair um they just they're not as tight as these ones like these ones have like no stretch if you know what I mean I don't even know how to explain it but yeah these ones get the stretchy hair ties they are way better so I'm gonna take my brush and I start from the outside of my hair in and I kind of go in, in a like a sweeping motion with the direction of my hair if that makes sense and I make sure not to lose that part because I used to do that so you don't want to do that but just kind of going if you can see the motions I'm just 
brushing but sweeping and I'm gonna do a high um, bun you can do a low a mid whatever you want I personally like the high buns and make sure you're brushing underneath this is why it's super important to have your hair not um, knotted because it makes it a lot easier to brush through and the crown of your head like here is like the most important because you can get a lot of bumps so just make sure you're smoothing it out like so I like to grab it just kind of feel it out okay so I think everything is good the side of my hair looks pretty good um, I'll fix it up a little bit once my hair is actually up but I think it looks decent okay so now that we have that I'm gonna take my really stretchy elastic oh my god the way my arm is so tired right now I'm just gonna make sure everything is really in place okay I'm gonna take the elastic wrap it around like that I think I wrapped it around like four or five times Whew, my arms are tired so now that we have this it is a little bit it's not as smooth as it was so what I like to take is my edge control this is the coconut shea by Eden Body Works I just get this from Walmart and this is my personal favorite Oops. my personal favorite edge gel um, I just take a toothbrush whatever you have this is what I have so I just dip it really lightly. This stuff is really sticky and sometimes it can leave a cast, like a white cast. So you don't want like too much of it. But this I just use to smooth out my hair. It really just makes sure everything's in place as well as slicks back my edges, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna do this on this side too. This really makes me able to define the part in the middle and lets me smooth out all these little creases here. Right there, so we have like all of our hair slipped back. Sometimes I'll go back in. There we go. So now I'm gonna take the ponytail and my brush and just brush it through. Make sure you have no knots because we want it to be like a very sleek, kind of ballerina style bun. And then I'm just going to wrap this kind of loosely, not super tight, and just wrap it around like that. Um, it's just a basic bun, to be honest. And then I take the tighter one just to wrap this around twice. And then we get this little bun, if you can see. If you can see, I don't know if you can, but that's what it looks like. So, um, like I said, I have curly hair, so I have like little pieces in the back of my hair. So, on the back of my hair, at the back of my neck. So, I'm going to take, again, my edge control and my toothbrush. And I just do this. And just slick up. If you want, you can bobby pin it. But I find this works good. I don't have to bobby pin it at all. So, I just do this. So, like that. I'm just going to fix my front piece here with my edge control. So now our hair is very slick back and we look like an egg, but you know what? We're a cute egg and we're okay with that. We're, we're okay with that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the makeup, the very minimalistic, no makeup makeup look. Um, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. My eyebrows have been wonky lately. Um, when I threaded them, I took too much out, so I've been, you know, trying to work with them. So don't pay attention to my eyebrows. They're very not neat right now so I'm just gonna lightly kind of fill in the areas that needs to be not a lot because it is a minimalistic no makeup makeup look so you don't want to really make it look like you're wearing a lot so I'm just gonna fill it in very lightly okay so I just did my eyebrows I really didn't do that much just like a little touch up here and there so I'm gonna take some lip balm this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask I need lip balm while I'm doing my makeup so I'm just gonna put this on Moisturize my lips because we don't want pressy lips. No, no, no. 
All right, so next we're going to take the Desi Creole C Vitamin C Glow Serum. This is what I personally think makes my skin look really nice and helps with the no makeup look. It's just like a very like nice, soft, glowy formula. I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm just going to shake it off. And I use about two pumps of this, eh, like two and a half. I use quite a bit. I have a big face, okay? So I just pop this on. Um, this also helps with like helping with dark spots on your face as well as like just what vitamin C is used for so I just put quite a bit of this on my face I kind of bring it down my neck a little bit and this just helps moisturize as well just like that. I literally don't use anything else I don't use any other moisturizer this is all I use this is this is my best friend it's expensive but she's there she bestie comes through <laughs> so we're just gonna let that sit on my face for a little bit I'm gonna let it set really in there just let it you know moisturize my face so I'm gonna leave this on for like two minutes and then we can get into the makeup all right so now that's kind of sit on my face a little bit you can tell my face is definitely like more glowy it has a little bit of a shine to it um, it just looks healthy and I love the way it sits on my face so next I'm gonna take some concealer because we have some dark spots and I have dark circles under my eyes. Obviously, if you don't have these problems, then you don't need to do this step. But personally, for me, I feel more confident and I feel better when I do this. So I'm going to do it. But I'm going to take a concealer that matches my skin perfectly. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 360W. Um, I love this formula. It's super light, but still gives you coverage. And it's just my favorite product. So I'm going to just pop this on my face. I use it directly from the brush. And I just kind of pop it in little spots that need coverage. Like I have a dark acne mark there. Any spots around my mouth gets dark. So I just put two little marks there. My chin. A little bit on my forehead. And the most important part is like under my eyes in there. I need it because I have really bad dark circles. So I just let this sit there. Here. Okay, so that's pretty much the only places I put the concealer. I don't put a lot, just on very minimal places. So I'm going to let this sit on my face for like a minute just to let the product kind of dry. It helps with more coverage, but it still looks natural because this formula is so good. So we're going to do that and I'm going to come back. Alright, so the brush I'm going to use to blend this out is my favorite brush. This is the e.l.f. Comp. Collection duo brush. It has two sides on um, like a fluffy brush and like a small one I use the small side when I'm doing this look just so I can really like get in those places So I like to start off on like my face part get around my mouth Like I said, I get very dark around my mouth. So this is like a necessary thing and just like that around my nose and I always do my makeup in front of like a window so I know what it looks like out in like the natural daylight. This just helps ensure that I'm actually using like the correct color and that my makeup looks good. Because when you're in your room with like no lighting, you can't tell what you look like outside. So a little tip is do your makeup in front of a window. It helps so much. You can actually see what you're doing properly and make sure everything is even and blended out. All right, so last I just do my under eyes here and it just helps cover like the littlest bit, but in my opinion, it makes a huge difference. So this is only, and I always get on my eyelid to make sure it matches. I like to do this. All right, so I always add a little bit more, just like a little spot more here. Just to let it sit there. And then while that's sitting there, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush just to kind of make my face look more alive. Um, again, this is another Rare Beauty product. Their products are so good, you guys. You don't even know. It's so good. Um, this is in the shade Joy. This is like the best shade in my opinion. I think this is the Dewy or I don't know if this is the Dewy or Matte formula, but it's so good. Um, I just use this on the back of my hand here. Just put a little bit of product. And then I take the same brush, the other side I use for blush. So I just kind of slightly tap this here. And I will just do a little bit. 
just to add a little bit of coverage like I said not anything crazy we just want some color in our face not to look so blah and I always add it kind of in like by my nose area this just kind of gives me that sunburnt look that I was in the sun and that my skin is like healthy you have that and always hit my chin and forehead I feel like it just helps so I'm gonna blend out this under eye concealer see it looks like I have a little bit more coverage it looks way better and then the last like liquid product on my face is this rare beauty highlighter so this is in the shade outshine it's just like a goldy shade i love this um i just pop a little bit on the high points on my face so like my cheekbones that's pretty much the only place i put it and i just use my finger for this and it just gives a little glow it's nothing crazy it looks very natural And my skin just looks like really healthy I can still see like my skin underneath but I have a little bit of coverage and it just my skin tone looks pretty even so I like the way it looks it just looks really nice I'll show you guys like up close you can still see like my skin texture and all that um, and it just has a little glow to it so I really like this um, makeup look and it's just it looks very healthy and glowy, which is what I'm going for. So I'm just going to set my under eyes because I crease a lot. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and just on a little sponge. I don't use a lot of this. I pretty much just put this under my eye because I crease really fast and really easily. So this just kind of helps to make it not look like I'm sweating off my makeup. So I'm going to kind of tap out the product a little bit and then go in and set it. So I just take the tiniest bit on the cap, just like this, and I'm just going to set under my eyes and always around my nose and mouth. Alright, so next I'm just going to take this brush. I already know there's product on there from the blush, and I just kind of... Come back in, add some more color in. Just like so. And then I always have my little makeup wipe. I'm just gonna wipe my um, eyelashes just so I have no product on them. Cause you don't want anyone knowing. Well, obviously people are gonna know you're wearing makeup, but this just, you don't want anything on your eyelashes. Okay, so next I'm just gonna put some clear eyebrow gel in. This is the Essence Lash and Brow in Clear. Um, this is my favorite. I just like this because I feel like I can actually move my eyebrows around. And my eyebrows are not looking cute today. So, this just helps make them look a little bit in place, if that makes sense. Alright, next I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I don't do it super intensely, just a little bit, just to kind of lift up my eye. Because I have very straight lashes, so this just helps open up my eyes a little bit. Makes me look more awake. That's literally all I do. It's like the smallest difference and it makes it look so much better. And then I'm gonna wipe off the lip balm on my lips because we don't need her anymore. And this also helps kind of exfoliate my lips, makes them more plump. All right, so the last and final step is my favorite product like ever. I talk about this all the time. It is the Quo Beauty Lip Oil. I love this stuff. It's like a lip balm, lip gloss oil. Um, it's only in Canada, I think, but guys, it's so good. It's my favorite. Um, this just like moisturizes your lips and just makes them look shiny and glossy and plump. So we're just going to pop this on. See, my lips just look so, they look so juicy and they just, they look good. So, this is it. But we have one more step to this look, which is jewelry. Because honestly, with my hair like this and like barely any makeup, I need something special going on. So, we're going to add jewelry. I love accessories. I love earrings and necklaces and all that. So, let's get my jewelry on. Alright, so we have a couple options with my earrings. I always have in my 
um, too. And then all of these I always have in. Um, so I'm, it's pretty much just like the major like first hole. So I'm going to try these ones first. These ones are kind of doing a lot. So I don't think I'm going to go with those ones. But we have a smaller version of them like this. See, that's kind of like minimalistic, you know? Or we have these medium-sized ones that are like super skinny, but they're like bigger, you know what I mean? Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like the chunky style in my ear. I think it looks better. So, this is what we're gonna do with the earrings. Next is necklaces. I wear pretty much the same necklaces, but you guys always ask where I get them from. So the first one we have here is my B necklace. Oh, can you see it? This is my B necklace. This is from Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. It's one of my favorite necklaces. So this is the first one we're gonna put on just like that. And the next one here, ooh, if I can get it untangled. Who's texting me? All right, so next I'm gonna put on this necklace. It's just one that says 1999. Again, this is from Amazon. I get a lot of stuff off of Amazon. So, let's put this one on, if I can get it. Hello? Are you broken? Oh my gosh. The last necklace I have to put on is this one. It's a new one to my collection. It's just a hummingbird, and I actually found this in a small boutique, um, like an hour away from where I live. So, it was meant to be. It literally matches the tattoo on my hand perfectly, which is so weird. So I was like, this is a sign, I need to get it. It was just, it was weird. It was weird. I was having a weird day and I saw it and I was like, oh my God. Nails and necklaces don't go good together. Hi, Miss Thing. Me and my sweaty fingers cannot do this today. Here we go. Finally, okay. All right, so see that just, Look, the look just looks so much better since I added jewelry on. It's like, okay, now she's put together. She's put together, yes. Um, but this is the finished makeup look and hair. This is my no makeup, no makeup makeup look. Yeah, it's super simple, really easy. It takes me about like 10 minutes when I'm not talking to do all this. So it's very fast and good for me when I wanna get out the door, but I wanna look put together. This is like my go-to. I pretty much wear this on like the daily with when I'm going out or something, but this is it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like me, subscribe down below. If you guys want me to do any other videos like hair, makeup, or fashion, let me know in the comments down below. But I love you guys. Do not forget to love yourself. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.